So this individual who has been selected by you is now our instrument in order to end self-perpetuating rule and impunity in this country. That person will make a promise to serve only three years and that cabinet will be dissolved and we will go back to elections where there will be second round of voting and all the parties will seek the mandate of the people. This is the agreement. My conclusion is we are trying to win 886,000 voters. We are not dealing only with opposition voters. We are dealing with Gambian voters. So as a result, those who take this podium should speak a language and engage in action where we will not lose a single voter because of arrest, because of certain behavior. Our young people will not go and vote. We want every young person to become disciplined and mature. Guard your language. Educate, mobilize in a manner that will earn you the respect of every Gambian. We don't want people to use language that will frighten other people. We don't want to use language that will threaten other people, that will drive away other people. We want language that will make others to come and join us because they will know that this is a coalition of hope, a coalition of national unity, a coalition for democracy, a, demo, a coalition for justice. This is what we are looking for. Not me as Halifa Salah or anybody utilizing the coalition for their individual interests. The national interest must now be supreme. And if we do that, we will start changing the Gambia. And then anybody in this country who has capacity to deliver will always have the chance to be able to serve you. Collectively, we are together. Collectively, we can utilize our intelligence. Collectively, we can utilize our energies to build a new Gambia where everybody will be proud to take ownership of. We have started the process of making history, but we are yet to make history. We can only make history if we continue to act together and change the country and bring a system that will earn the respect of our children and our children's children. Thank you very much. Oh. Uh, well, electors voted for a flag bearer. You accepted him to be your flag bearer. Now I'm calling upon him to give a speech